I want to share my perspective and my very own perspective on Curator on-premise or on-prem versus Curator on cloud or QROC. This is not Curator running on Azure and AWS. I have done some videos that show how you do that. And although they are, although these things might be related, you may have QROC, which is IBM's Curator implementation on its own uh, IBM cloud network. And you can have entities like managed hosts on Azure and AWS playing with QROC. But again, this cons this concentrates on on that QROC offering. And this is n had no pricing comparison or anything like that. I don't even know what the prices of those uh, things are. This is not a uh, OPEX versus CAPEX type of discussion. Just from the technical perspective, how uh, this thing uh, contrasts and which might be uh, better than the other in different circumstances. So regardless of whether you have an all-in-one device or you have a distributed environment, you point your log sources into those boxes. I mean, it can be, you know, and your flows in the same way to the all-in-one or to uh, probably a flow processor. And that's the way that you normally operate. How does that contrast with an implementation of QROC. So when you create your QROC instance, you get what is called a data gateway. Uh, and this can be a physical appliance or a virtual appliance. Typically it's an ISO image that the QROC people create for you and configure with the right keys and credentials uh, for your usage. And then what you do is that you point the same log sources that were pointing to the all-in-one or the console you, you, if, for example, if you give this data gate with the same IP address that Curator has, then it is equivalent to have all those elements being pointed to that data gateway. And what the data gateway does is that it compress and encrypt those uh, logs and flows and send them uh, to, uh, to QROC. Now, you also have access via browser to your console with a, but a, in a secure way. So. So you have, for example, you specify the CDAT ranges that you can actually access that to that, that instance uh, with your multi-factor authentication. So you have means of having a secure access uh, to that uh, QROC uh, keys, uh, passwords, strong passwords. I mean, there are different ways of making sure that you and only you can access your console on the cloud. Now, QROC is all about infrastructure. So when you get, when you go to the, for example, if you go from an all-in-one uh, to uh, on-prem to QROC, is that you forget about patching migration. Let's say that you need additional capacity because you want to speed up your searches. So you add, you can add, uh, ask to add a data node, or you have an app node because you have a big UBA implementation that you want to run up there. Uh, so all those things will be handled for you and you don't have to worry about, forget about the rack. All you need to do is you, you keep your stop being pointed to the data gateway and QROC does the rest. Now, what remains the same between on-prem and QROC? The people at the QROC side are not going to manage the console for you. I mean, all the offenses, tuning, log sources, searches, report, etc. This the stuff that you do today, you need to keep on doing it because that's not what they are all about. They are all about the infrastructure, not the management. So this remains the same, but let's say that you have either IBM or an IBM business partner acting as an MSP. Uh, well, he's going to be your service provider. He can do that for you, and the infrastructure can be on the cloud, on QROC. But again, the point is that the, the folks from QROC does not do that. I've also forgot to mention that when you move from on-prem to QROC, they are excellent and I actually have used many of those primitives when I move from different demo system uh, there are def uh, there, there's the backup and restore capabilities of curator uh, there's the capability of using the CMT tool to migrate data so all the primitives are there to transparently move all the audio specific rule all your tune environment on-prem into QROC very transparently so that's not a, an issue at all what are things that are kind of uh, uh, different or better one way or another? Well, in terms of availability, 
I will tend to think that all the infrastructure that uh, IBM has put around QROC, all the people and, and equipment and generators and all that, should give you a better availability than what you may, afford, may be able to afford on-prem. I'm not saying that, you know, something cannot happen on, on, uh, on the IBM network, but they have, you know, multiple sites and they have all the infrastructure behind it so the availability of their curator environment should be better on QROC than on-prem there's a lot of talk about apps you know that uh, apps that are available on QROC and which are not so let me actually tell you the, the way I will deal with that so when you go to the app exchange there's even a section here a, a check mark that you know, this, I want to show show me only the apps that have uh, uh, that support curator on cloud. And you can select that those, and you know, uh, you you can actually uh, get that subset. So you see that UBA is there, and if you go to any one of those apps, you you can see in detail that it says cure uh, curator on cloud ready. Yes. So check this thing out because whatever. Uh, limitation that they may be for any app for not having this curator on cloud ready might be something that they will fix uh, and I know that they are working on fixing some limitations on some very specific apps so go and check there uh, before you, you, you make uh, your decision because what might be true today I mean something that may not have the yes today may easily have it uh, uh, in, in a couple of days now or months uh, you get the point. Now the other thing that is different between the two, and I'm going to give you now a, a tour of Curator, my Curator on-prem on my demo versus QROC, and it's really very hard to distinguish one from another except for the admin tab. So let's actually go here. This is my uh, access to Curator on cloud in fact I even have to think about it before I say it and I know in this particular case I don't have that threat genesis app installed in my demo system so that, that but you know if you go to offenses log activity asset report everything is the, is the same curator version this you know here's the UBA app I mean everything is uh, exactly the same now if we contrast that with my demo system this is this is my demo system again it, it's, it's exactly the very same uh, environment. In fact, QROC was even faster than my local machine there. Uh, you know, this is my instance of UBA. Uh, so, again, it is it is the very same technology. But it is the infrastructure that they take the burden away from you.